Sweet. Legendary. Frozen? Star Drop. Sorbet. And you won't need an ice cream maker to make it. Now, Star Drop isn't a real fruit, but we're going to mix together uh, grapes and blueberries. I am going to weigh them out for this. You're going to want a pound of grapes, no stems please, and about a half a pound of blueberries. Now I'm going to use a special jam making trick and grate a small apple. This is going to help the texture. Alright, now put all your fruit, water, sugar, apples, corn syrup, lemon juice, and salt in a medium pot. Cover and bring to a boil. Once it starts boiling, give it a bit of a mix and then cook the whole thing on low for about 20 minutes covered. You want the grapes to give up their juices. Give it one more mix when it's done cooking and then pulse it with your stick blender. You want to make sure you get all those grapes pulverized. All right, now we're gonna strain this whole mess through a cheesecloth, or like me, a nut bag, which I've never used to make nut milk, but it's a really good strainer for things like this. You're gonna wanna wait till this mixture cools down. I'm doing it right now because I have kitchen hands. When all is said and done, you should have about two cups of liquid. Now I want my sorbet really purple, just like Star Drops, so I'm gonna add a little bit of blue since this mixture is pretty red, because I use red grapes. Um, if you use Concord grapes, you might not need to do this. Alright, let this mixture cool down completely in the fridge. Once it's cold, add a little bit of Greek yogurt to a small bowl. Add a little bit of your fruit liquid to loosen it up and whisk it until smooth. Then put it back into your main mixture. Alright, now it's time to freeze. Add it to a loaf pan. I know this is a brownie pan, but I'm a dum-dum, uh, but just use a loaf pan. Freeze it for about two hours. It's getting pretty stiff, so go at it with your stick blender. This will loosen it up and give it a little bit of air. Put it back into the freezer for another hour. Every hour, beat the crap out of it with your stick blender to make it nice and smooth. Be sure to work around the edges. You can also do this in a food processor, I guess, but it's going to take way longer and you're probably going to lose a lot of your mixture while you try to clean it. And you want to do this fast because uh, if you do this slow, ice crystals are going to form and you're not going to get a nice scoopable product. As you can see, I've put it in a loaf pan now. After the last blitz, freeze it for one more hour. Alright, let's see if this worked. Check it out, it's perfectly scoopable. And we didn't need an ice cream maker. Serve it up. First scoop is round. And the second one gets flattened. I'm going to use a uh, offset spatula for this. Check it out. It's just like the kind you get at the movie theater. Which probably won't exist anymore. Uh-oh. Star Drop Sorbet is yummy. If you like that, check out the rest of my Stardew Valley recipes. I've got a whole playlist, and there's more coming, by the way. In the meantime, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more recipes. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!